YouTube family, what is up? Today is the day. Actually, it was yesterday. And by the time y'all see this, it could be three, four days from now. Who knows? But some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you can guess it from the video description, but we'll get into it here and show you what I'm talking about. Yes, you see the wings. You see me gliding. We are talking about, I got my big wings. I'm a big whale killing everybody. It's, it's a great feeling y'all. <laughs> All jokes aside, I was able to hit my 3k resonance, which is the mark I've been trying to hit for a while now. And ma it's mainly for the cosmetic. I mean, <laughs> I don't feel that much difference from the 2.8. Um, when I first hit Inferno and then I had to make a couple of upgrades to get to 3k but really when we talk about the power of my character and what I put into it really that 2.8 res to the 3k it doesn't feel any different and that's what I wanted to talk about in the video today is we've seen the power levels and the power creep of the game actually go through the roof here with this latest update and I'm going to give you guys some examples of that. I'm going to start off with myself. So at one point, my highest resonance that I achieved was 2.4 K resonance. And I ended up taking a couple of steps back as I was playing around with some one star gems in my build, messing around with some two star gems. And I knew I wasn't going to make any significant upgrades for quite a long time. So for me, it started becoming more fun to play around with the one and two star gems and see what kind of effects those were, would have on my character. Well, the new update comes out and myself, like many other people, I had gems in my bag that I wasn't using and it allowed me to go up significantly in resonance. So in my bag, we had the five out of five Hellfire Fragment. I would throw this in for PVP purely for resonance and it was at rank five, so it's given me 500 additional resonance. My Echoing Shade, I stopped using this a long time ago and I never scrapped it just because I kind of like the effect. Not that it's a great gem, but having two extra characters on the screen, copies of yourself, um, it's kind of cool. And they do do a little bit of damage here. It's actually pretty good for chip damage on the boss. But this one was a rank four, three, three star. And this was giving me 320 resonance. So I slotted these in once I hit Inferno one. And that was an immediate jump of 820 resonance, guys. And it's even bigger for some of the, the bigger whale characters that are out there. So that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about today. Um, definitely happy patting myself on the back for getting to the 3k mark but the needle has moved now and it's moved quite a bit so when we take a look at some of our top players here we'll take a look at pk here plastic knife he's actually gone up quite a bit i remember when he was only 3k residents and then i look you know a few weeks later i'm like oh 4k 5k he's gone up to 7k and we can see from the gems that he slotted in, he has a, a rank eight Phoenix Ashes now. And that's given him 800 additional resonance. So the two gems that I slotted in for 820, he's got one of those to give him 800. And then he also has a Hellfire that's given him an additional 400. So he went up 1200 resonance points to get him to the 7K mark. Let's take a look at uh, Tamias here. And same sort of scenario. I was actually in a clan with these guys at one point. And I remember when he was a 3K player. And I remember back then too, like he was one of the strongest players in the clan. And it was ridiculous, but he's now gone up to 5K. And he was definitely just at 4K the last time that I, I took a look at his character. Weed Chicken, I think is, is another one. That might be 4K now. Yeah, Weed Chicken has gone up to almost 4,500 resonance. 
and we can see a, a, a rank five blessing of the worthy here and a rank four concentrated will. And then one that I know has made probably the largest jump is Quinlan is, is possibly the strongest player on our server. And you can already see the big 8K wings. And yeah, 8K resonance now. So what has this really done to the game? What are we seeing? What's going on? Well, it's it's a little bit deceptive. So you definitely have seen the, the needle move to where, you know, 2K players are 3K players. 3K players are now becoming 4K players. 5K players, 6K players, so on and so forth. So we've definitely seen that happen. Um, in terms of my character stats, I've gone up quite a bit as I was just under 14K damage. I was at like 13.5, 13.6, depending on my gear. Die of 200K, I'm in my PVP gear, so I am getting a little bit of a boost to my life right now. Um, but I was sitting around 180,000 life, 190,000 life. And then when I popped my PVP gear on, I was like 196, 198. So I've actually gone up quite a bit. When we look at some of these other people, their damage is now in the 20 to 22K range. Their life is over 300K. We're seeing these stats go just out of control. But what's happened is in terms of PVE content, like it doesn't matter. Anyone's ripping through any of the PVE content in the game at this point. That's not a big deal for, for almost anyone. The PVP is where we're going to see this resonance really matter. And Blizzard has chosen to compress the stats in the game. Nope. What's going on here? Charcy's just, there we go. <laughs> uh. Um, Blizzard has chosen to compress the stats inside a battleground now. So what I'll see when I'm inside of a battleground is my stats actually drop to 10k damage and 139k life. And it seems like a lot of the bigger whale players are in like maybe the 13k to 14k damage bracket now. And then their life will be right at about 200k. And usually they're down like 80 to 100k life so it definitely has even the battlefield in terms of the gap when you go inside of a battleground however what i don't think they really considered is the secondary stats mine aren't that great if you compare it to to whale stats i mean i think i'm doing pretty good in my armor and my armor pin my potency and resistance definitely needs to come up but a lot of people are in the 2k to 3k range on their secondary stats now a lot of the whales are and from what i can tell it doesn't seem like these stats actually get squished um, some of your normal gem stats for damage it definitely seems like it can depend on what damage gems you're running but it doesn't seem like the secondary stats have changed that much so there's still a really big gap when it comes to somebody hitting you with a crit and they're doing massive damage when they do a crit to you or somebody getting seeping bile on you and it lasts for forever and your character dies like 20 seconds later because you can't get the seeping bile off of you. Um, them having really high armor and high resistance so your seeping bile doesn't do almost anything to them and it goes off immediately or you crit them and it just doesn't do that much damage. I do think after playing quite a few battleground rounds that at first, it felt a little bit different because Inferno, there wasn't a lot of players. So you were seeing 8K, 9K players all over the place. And that was definitely crazy. I feel like it's leveled out over the last few days. And I'm mainly now going against people that are in the 2K to 3K range. And there'll be some 4K, 5K players sprinkled about. But... I haven't gotten matched up with the 7K, 8K, 9K player in quite a while. Um, I would say my last like 12 or so battleground rounds have been with people pretty much in my resonance bracket. We'll have to do some more testing and, and really see what's going on here. But in those matches, I'm typically one of the top players, if not the top player, almost every single time. 
and it's it's an even matchup where almost any team can win sometimes the class compositions just aren't in your favor and you're gonna lose or maybe the skill gap you can't really tell that and you're just on a bad team that absolutely happens but for the most part the the games are, are pretty much winnable um that i've been playing now when you get matched up and you've got 8k players running around 7k players running around that's when things get a little hectic and there's still no way even with the stat compressions for you to compare to a 7k 8k player so i i don't think things are totally fixed and i'm sure some people are mad i mean i'm a little bit too when i go in I mean, I've been grinding this character up the whole time. I've got my stats to a semi good place where I'm comfortable. I'm happy with my character. And obviously the power gap has shifted even further. And then they can press the stats down. So I don't really feel in terms of like, I was starting to feel like I had a little bit of survivability with where my life was. Um, now I, I don't feel that way at all. It definitely feels like I die very quickly and I have to pretty much avoid damage. I've gotten good at doing that over time, just being in the higher brackets for battlegrounds. So I still can avoid the damage, but man, a lot of times you, I can take a few hits, two, three hits and I'm gone. It might not be one hit. If it's a seven or eight K player, it could be one hit and I'm gone. But I mean, now with what's going on in the battlegrounds, two or three hits from almost anybody and you could be wiped out. So we need some more, more testing. I think we need to have things potentially squished even further, not squished, but they need to take a look at the balance again and maybe they will. I mean, it seems like more changes may be coming on the horizon with when it comes to battlegrounds, but yeah, wanted to let you guys know I, I met my mark. I'm at that 3k love the cosmetic. I was tired of those little chicken wings, man. <laughs> uh, they just don't look great. They don't really these should probably be the one and 2k wings and then your 3k should have a couple additional little winglets coming off of it but i feel i feel good getting here i definitely know that the needle has been moved though so maybe it's not as important as it once was like uh, a lot of times 3k gave you a little bit of credibility like oh yeah he's you know he's he's got some skin in the game and he can hit hard a little bit and you can see some 3k players dominating every once in a while depending on build and if they weren't matched up in battlegrounds against 5k 6k players 7k players and now it just feels like you're kind of bottom of the totem pole again so i mean i'm happy to be here i'm glad i got here these new gym slots obviously were able to take me over the top and i made an upgrade to my seeping bile got that to rank six um so that was that was what did it for me I don't know how much further I'm going to progress as I didn't see much progression in my resonance for months after I hit that 2k mark and I started going backwards. So I'm assuming the same here. I mean, I, I don't think I have another upgrade coming except maybe bottled hope for quite a while. Um, I do have my 12 copies of mother's lament. So that'll give me 30 more resonance, not anything crazy but I will get the extra 4% critical hit chance um, for 32% instead of 28 when that happens. I just need some more gym power to be able to do that. But yeah, feels like a very long road to get here. This was this was always what I had my sights on was the 3K mark and then kind of scaling it back. I, I pretty much scaled it back once I hit 2K, but 3K was the goal. I'm there now. Feels pretty good to finally get a, a big bump up in power in my character and it's noticeable. So I hope you guys have some gems in your bag that you've been saving up for this moment that you can just slot in and get a really good power boost. Um, what gems did you guys actually put in? Was it things that can enhance your build or were they gems that you just had lying around and you're like, hey, give me the extra resonance. Love to hear from you guys and see what your thoughts are on the, the two extra gem slots and what you're putting in those. As always, you know, I got to tell you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for your support as usual. I appreciate it all. Keep watching. There's more in store and I'll see you guys on the next one.